Welcome to the latest in a series of online services helping us to worship together while we are unable to meet in our church buildings. In these services we are using the morning prayers liturgies drawn together by Brother David Dickinson. In normal times these liturgies are used at Full Neck's Thursday morning service. Today we are using liturgy number seven. Where there are responses for us to say or verses for us to sing together, they will appear on the screen. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the clouds. Let us pray. O God, creator of all good and beautiful things, we give thanks. O Jesus, saviour of all people, we give thanks. O Holy Spirit, giver of life abundant, we give thanks. O ever-living God, coming to us in so many ways, yet always the same, always bringing life, always bringing beauty, always bringing joy, we give thanks. To God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, we evermore give thanks. Amen. We say together the 51st Psalm. Have mercy on me, O God, in your enduring goodness. According to the fullness of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, I am always conscious of my sin. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your eyes. You desire truth in the inward being. Teach me wisdom in the secret places of my heart. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, then I shall be whiter than snow. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and support me with a willing spirit. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. You have no delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. My sacrifice is a humble spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, 
you will not despise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading is taken from Matthew 28, verses 16 to 20. Then the eleven disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some of them still doubted. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given complete authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Thanks be to God. These words are the concluding words of Matthew's Gospel. Jesus gathers his disciples together on the mountain to speak his last words over them before he ascends to heaven. In verse 17, Matthew explores how all the disciples worship Jesus, though some doubted. Even here, in this community of worship, there is room for those who have questions to ask. Jesus' final command to his followers in verse 19 often loses its emphasis in translation. Go is not the instruction, but rather, as you are going, make disciples. The instruction is to make more disciples. The lectionary readings for today all share a focus on the importance of words in creation, in reconciliation, in making new disciples. But these words are not to be empty. They become life-giving for the world when they derive their power from the very character of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. This final commission is our commission too. Wherever we are going, we are, we are to make disciples, passing on the story and bringing others into our family of faith. Let us pray. Let us offer thanks for the rich variety of God's gifts among his people. Remembering the energy of youth and the wisdom of age. Remembering the different contributions that each member makes out of his or her daily life. We thank you, Father God, for giving us each other. Remembering our fellow Christians in all churches, remembering our growing unity with Christians, we thank you, Father God, for giving us each other. Remembering those who have influenced us in years gone by, and now worship you in heaven. We thank you, Father God, for giving us each other. All praise to you, eternal God, for you have given us Jesus Christ, who has gathered us all together and holds us in your love. We thank you, Father God, for giving us each other. Amen. A prayer for others. In homes filled with anger, cruelty and neglect, where there are no safe places, where poverty and addiction bring suffering and pain, God of peace, may your peace be known. To those whose minds are tormented by depression, to those whose hold on life is fragile, to those whose lives are filled with stress and fear, God of peace, 
may your peace be known. To those who are nearing the end of life, to those who love and care for them, God of peace, may your peace be known. May your peace be known to us and may we be bearers of your peace in the world. Amen. Lord, set your blessing on us as we continue this day together. Confirm us in the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Now we will sing a hymn together and the words will appear on the screen. So with you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please join us again next week.